Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Welcome to another segment of Cooking Sunday Dinner. So, um, yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to start with dessert. I have some bananas here that were on their way out the door, so I'm going to make use of them instead of, you know, making something else. Now, I have a classic yellow cake, and that's what's in this bowl right here. To spice this up, we're going to use cardamom, almond extract, and cinnamon. I have my milk instead of... Um, water i have my eggs right there i have my butter instead of oil and i have my bananas of course so you want to mash them to death honestly there's no special order to do this recipe i'm just choosing to do it this way so i'm adding my eggs to my banana i'm going to spice it here so you want to add maybe a quarter teaspoon of cardamom same with the cinnamon you don't want to overdo it remember that cake box box cake is already flavored and this is actually my first time um doing this recipe so i don't want to push it too much i also have ice cream to go with this so you want to mix this in guys you want to put this in the oven and uh 350 for about an hour it's probably going to take 45 minutes to an hour just make sure you check it with a toothpick in the middle to make sure it's clean and yep all right guys so next we're going to work on the drink this is blackberries and blueberries we're basically going to make a berry lemonade as you can see already started you want to muddle this completely down and then we're just going to add water and lemon juice all right, in my picture, I have my lemons that I squeezed into my picture here and a little bit of sugar. You can sweeten this however you want to. I'm going to add an entire bottle of water. I might add more depending on how it tastes. Then you want to add your berry mixture, which is going to make the color so pretty. And you just want to mix. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I think I'm going to add the other, or half a bottle at least. So yeah, let's move on to the main course. Alright guys, so for the main course, I'm going to be making some fried snapper and some cheesy penne. So in this pot, I have two tablespoons butter. I'm going to add two tablespoons flour. You guys know there's plenty of ways to make mac and cheese or any kind of cheesy pasta. So this is just another way. Alright guys, so all I'm using is shop cheddar cheese. Like I said, it's easy and simple and I'm just going to season it really well. I have fresh thyme here that I'm going to probably put a little couple leaves of that in there. This is my snapper that I seasoned with my spice, but you can season it with some Old Bay, garlic, pepper. That's pretty much it. And I'm just going to coat it in egg and cornmeal. Alright, so while this is trying to come to a simmer, I already see I have a few thyme leaves down in there. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm actually going to remove that once it starts to simmer. You want to add some cayenne for a little kick. And I'm also going to add some smoked paprika. Make sure you add salt to taste. And guys, you can switch this up and add whatever cheese that you prefer. As you can see, it's already thickening up. Once it starts to simmer, then we're going to let it simmer for about one minute. And then I'm going to add the cheese, turn it off, add it to the noodles. Alright, so it came to a simmer and it's nice and thickened. You want to add your cheese. Like I say, you can add any cheese you prefer, as much or as little. Make sure you taste it again for salt and pepper. Alright, you want to pour this right over your penne. Yum. Oh. Alright y'all, so I put the macaroni and cheese in the oven just to toast up the top of it and melt the cheese. Now this right here is cornmeal, um, a half a cup, I mean one cup of cornmeal and a half a cup of um, Italian breadcrumbs and I seasoned it with this and some salt. Again, you can use Old Bay, you can use your favorite fish seasoning, but that's what I'm doing. And here was the egg and hot sauce with the fish that I showed you guys earlier. And you're just going to dip it, coat it really well, and then we're going to fry it. All 
All right, y'all, I'm finally done. <laughs> I am hot and tired. But anyway, this is the fish right here. Um, it's just two pieces. Like I said, it's just two of us. But this is a lot of fish. Um, it's This looks like it's even enough for four people. I know I sound like I exaggerate, but these are two big pieces of fish. But anyway, this is the mac and cheese right here, or cheesy penny pasta, whatever you want to call it. Over here is the cake. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> the cake with the ice cream. Um, I'll also link below, not link, but tell y'all below what I thought about that cake. Also, follow me on social media, and this is the drink right here. So, I hope you guys enjoy this Sunday dinner recipe, and I'll catch you guys next time on my next video. Bye, guys. creamy this is now this is not southern baked don't come for me i do have a recipe on that <laughs> but look how creamy and cheesy this is all right